I awaken to the same faint beeping I've awoken to for the last couple months. It's an urgent, soft chime that lets me know I need to either renew my stay or get the hell out of the easy hab. Shaking off the groggy slumber, I get on my feet. Did I really leave this place such a mess last night? No matter. I need to get to work. My bills have been piling up lately. I scrolled through my messages just last night. Premium due on ship policy number CX8546Q229. Payment due on ship rental dated 2-4-2945. Invoice for Easy Hab Stay. Invoices for Cryastro Service Station. If I keep this up, you're going to sick some bounty hunters on me just to collect these debts. I need a little bit of luck. More than that, I need work. My stomach rumbles. I need breakfast. I head out into the hallway. The harsh lighting leads me to a flickering Big Benny machine. Grab. Eat. I mock, striking the buttons. Just give me some damn food. Insufficient funds. The machine mocks back. Looks like I'm flying on an empty stomach. I make my way to the concierge terminal at last. Still groggy, I finally find and summon my ship, a brand new Origin M50. They told me that the insurance on that thing alone would bankrupt me. I'm going to prove them wrong. Pad A05. I'd better move it. No one likes a traffic jam. The harsh cycling of the airlock jolts me awake. It's showtime. I jog to pad A05, and there she is, my shining ruby, sparkling in Stanton's rays. She's going to make me a mint one day. After I throw some bigger guns on her, of course. I lower the ladder and climb inside. Good morning, Thorn, I say. Ready to get moving? Origin Jumpworks, she replies. She's funny like that. We leap off the pad and get out of the way, making a good distance from Port Olisar. I tap my wrist and the movie glass flickers to life. MGS scheduler, please bring me some good news. Restore a couple probes. No pay, no way. P.I. wanted. That piques my interest. I pull up the details. Disaster at Kovalek Shipping Hub. Widow's L.I. claim denied. Deceased at fault. She needs info either exonerating or damning him. I get paid either way. My heart races as I eagerly accept. This is the break I need. I start charging the quantum drive and rotate Thorn's nose. I can practically smell dinner. As the drive spools up, I psych myself up. This is a pretty big unknown I'm headed into. There may be nothing but a robotic keep-out transmission. The drive engages, crushing my body against the seat and blurring space outside the canopy. There may already be salvagers there, contaminating the evidence. Worse, they may actually go by different terms. Looters, outlaws, pirates. I prepare myself for the latter as the stars outside my cockpit shift back from lines to dots. It's actually really pretty, watching a dogfight from afar. The red, green, and yellow pulses stream along curves and vectors, dancing to the death of either opponent. I pitch down and give them a wide berth. This is no place for a pair of M3As, no matter how fast you dance. I bolt under the base, pulling up from behind and into the shadows behind the station. I'm a PI today, not a dogfighter. I disengage my lamp. The idiot lantern makes you a prime bullseye in anything less than a Connie. Rounding a corner, I weigh my options. There are several shipwrecks floating just above the powerless landing pads. I need to hide my ship, and I need to minimize my time outside of it. I finally spy a dark, obscured patch of hull, just around the corner from the pads. Landing mode initiated. Thorn informs me as I flick the switch. Thanks, lady. I touch down on the side of the shipping hub. This should work quite nicely, as long as she doesn't start drifting on me. My ears pop as the canopy pops and I float out of my ship. Let's move, I reassure myself. The hissing EVA jets vibrate my suit against my skin as I dash to a busted window. Ignoring the collision warnings, I plow into what looks like might have been a lobby, smashing into a wall. My spine jars stiffly against my suit. I wheeze my breath back into me, and I try to get my bearings. It's dark, save for the singular green glow and faint emergency lighting. I grab the vermilion radiating pad and download what I can off of it. Messages to the deceased, shift manager checking in. Looks like he was late on post. He might have missed any number of engineering events. Not a good start, Darnell. Kovalex is pretty famous for stiffing you on a payment. I continue on, flying through the labyrinth of shafts and corridors. Another pad, and another. A birthday celebration, a bottle of Esquire, a bad hangover. Things are looking grim for this widow. No skin off my back. I get paid either way. 
Approaching the upload terminal, I see another pad, floating out in the storage room. Better to be thorough, I think. I sail through and grab the message. Just a performance review, but it's weird. Darnell was getting better at his job, becoming very diligent. Looks like his last mistake was a big one. I turn back to the terminal. Then things took a bad turn. The rattling of repeaters sound off outside the storage room doors. I can't be sure what they are. Gunfighting, scavengers, or dogfighting ships. I dash between the shelving, hiding for dear life. I can't afford a medical bill, much less a resuscitation. And this pop gun pistol I have isn't going to cut it. I rack my brains. Rounds of something slam against the doors. They're coming from outside the station, not inside. Besides, the doors are locked from out there. It doesn't look like to be penetrating the hull. So for the time being, I'm safe. An explosion quakes the frame of the shipping hub. I need to get out of here. I examine my HUD. My thorn is 110 meters away, just outside. That's good. As soon as I upload these findings, I'm bailing. I jet up to the top of the chamber, trying to get to the terminal again, when I catch a glimpse of a green glow. Another damn pad. I pause, weighing self-preservation against professional integrity. The selfishness yields to the selflessness as I drift through another broken window. A communique with an easy hab door code and a name I'm not sure I recognize. Another explosion rocks the hall. I dart about my HUD trying to find my M50 signature. Nothing. Good God, please, please let that just be a glitch in the cheap Moby mod. That's what I get for working on a budget, I reassure myself. I chuckle. <laughs> my pop gun definitely feels like a toy now. I fly through the doors of the storage room back into the lobby I entered, trying to find a shortcut to the easy habs I passed earlier. Maybe I can find something to help me in there. Like a missile. Or the title to a vanguard. Or at least a bottle of Esquire. My nerves are too shaky. I need to get back to the task at hand. Find the easy hab, then upload the info, then get out of dodge. Then collect the payment. It's simple. Then, things got worse. 